someone reaching in to grab you. And we'll address this in a couple of different ranges, right? So either early on, before the person grabs you, or they've made a connection. And one of the goals that we want to have, whether it's a uh, one-on-one -on -one combative situation or whether it's a military conflict, you'd rather get to someone's flank or to their rear. So we're going to go slow. As he reaches for me, I'm going to just parry his hand, kind of the old-fashioned Mr. Miyagi wax off at the wrist. My other hand is going to grab at his tricep here. So one more time. He reaches, you parry away. We're going to cut the tricep. I'm going to be pulling this, and as soon as it crosses his center line, I'm going to pull it to my side, and I'm going to take a step. One more time. So here, maybe I'm in this situation. He makes a reach for me, aggressive, and we're going to come here. So we parry it away, hand should already be up. Small circle. We meat cook him here. We're going to pull and step. As soon as I do so, I'm going to immediately, depending on the situation, it could be face, it could be throat, assuming less severe now, it could be upper chest. We're going to strike or push in on the upper chest, and with the rear hand, push on the hips. From here, we can choke the individual, we can grab and bring a hand behind the back, or we can sit him down, roll him, whatever the case may be. So one more time, very simply, you reach in, one, two, break the balance, and then again, from here, we can grab and bring the hands behind the back. We can sit them down, roll over, and just maintain control 